This video illustrates the efforts of a team of visualization and civil engineering researchers towards producing a high-fidelity visualization of the September 11, 2001 attack on the World Trade Center. The visualization had to be eloquent to the non-expert user. The simulation was placed into context by modeling and importing the buildings of the WTC Plaza, shown here in color, into a Google Earth model of Lower Manhattan. A finite element analysis simulation of the impact between the Boeing 767 and the top 20 floors of the North Tower was computed using a state-of-the-art simulation code. Then, the simulation results were imported into a state-of-the-art animation system where the visualization was produced. The simulation tracked the impact over three quarters of a second real time. This sequence is 13 times slower than real time. All the animated geometry seen here was created automatically from the simulation output data. This sequence visualizes the aircraft trajectory between the facade and the structural core of the building. Notice the oscillation of the ceiling during the impact. This reverse angle shot visualizes the important damage sustained by some of the core columns. Using a camera with a distant header plane, this sequence simultaneously visualizes the two floors that sustain most direct impact damage. Notice the right engine titanium shaft which traverses the building virtually intact. Plain debris re-emerges on the opposite face of the building. The jet fuel in the central and two wing tanks was simulated using smoothed particle hydrodynamics or SPH. Nearby fuel particles were lumped together in the animation system and the fuel was rendered with reflections and refractions using a ray trace material. Notice how the wing tank fuel disperses first as the wings are considerably damaged by the facade. The core columns are essential to the structural integrity of the building. This sequence visualizes the damage to the core columns and to their connecting horizontal beams by rendering all other entities with transparent materials. Here are the core columns exclusively. These sequences also turn out to provide a good visualization of the overall deformation of the aircraft as it enters the building. The simulation did not consider the effects of the explosion and of the ensuing fire. Here, the fuel particles were used in the animation system to automatically produce a plausible fire visualization. As can be seen in this side-by-side -side visualization, the simulation fuel particles control the fire computed by the animation system. Elements that undergo excessive stress are eliminated from the computation by the FEA simulation code. These eroding elements correspond to entities that disintegrate, such as a slab of concrete turning into dust. Although they do not have much relevance from the simulation standpoint, eroded elements are important for the visualization. Eroded elements are used in the animation system to automatically create and control visual effects such as dust and glass shards. The visualization produced leverages the strengths of a state-of-the-art simulation system, which models the interactions in detail based on physics first order principles, and of a state-of-the-art animation system, which produces a high-quality visualization of the simulation results. This was made possible by developing a scalable translator that automatically converts the simulation output data into an animation scene. The translator is general and reusable in the context of other simulations.